one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's me again, Boxman. But you probably knew that already, and welcome back for more Kirby's Epic Yarn. Man, does it feel good to say that. Where I'm just rolling around my little car. Yeah, very nice. In the last one, we started our epic adventure, and we met up, and uh, we went up with, hey! Hey, stop that! That's my magic metabato! What? That's that's what he said. He said, hey, my name is... What's up? Yeah. So, what? Stop that! That's my magic metabato has been turning around, turning people into yarn in this one. We're going to see if we can try and stop him by uh, trying to collect more of the pieces of the magical yarn to stitch the patch land back together. And apparently, that means playing levels. Even the ones that don't include the magical yarn, but... For now, let's just head into flower fields, because that's what we're going to do. Which just shows to show you that, oh boy, this game is really freaking sweet. Come on now, this is so adorbs. Oh my, I, I just used the word adorbs. My, what am I, some sort of 13-year-old girl? I don't know. So we can swing on the, 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 the cores of these. I'm not actually sure what those are supposed to be called. I don't know, it's summer. When it's summer, you sort of lose everything that you learned in school. That's one of the downsides of summer. So you, then you don't have a head start. Eh. Oh, well. Eh. So let's just murder these wallabies. And you know, I actually feel really bad for these guys. I mean, just freaking look at them. They don't even look like they're the bad guys. They, I, it, it kind of looks like Kirby's the real bad guy here. But you know, that's just me. They, they just look like they're not e they're not even really doing anything, to be honest. They're just sort of there. Okay. They're just, they're just chilling around. Okay? I mean, I know they're servants of yin yarn, and they're probably going to... Eh. Eh. They're, they're probably evil in some way, but they really don't look like that. They, they really don't. So, I don't know. I'm, I guess maybe I'm here to defend Waddle Dee's. There's probably going to be some, like... I don't know, maybe somebody should make a sign, like, defend Waddle Dee's. Waddle Dee's are people, too. <laughs> uh, well, Flower Clock. Uh, I couldn't read the description, but you probably saw it. You can just pause the video. Whatever. Yeah. Plan. <clears throat> now, let's make this one flume. You can get more beads from these flowers, which I've been doing, but... It's def it's not It's not necessary, by any means. It really isn't. Yeah. Those were, uh... Those were button flies, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, we'll see button bees later on in the stage, but yeah, but button flies, button flies and button bees, they're kind of special because when you throw them, they are thrown in multiples of three, which is really nice. I like that. Or maybe hold on, I think it's just, I think it's just button flies are thrown in multiples of three, and the button bees can be lock on. They're homing. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that, oh no no no, the button flies are homing, and the, uh, the button bees are lock on. No, the button bees are three of them. That's, that's what the button bees are. Okay. I'm getting confused by button buys, button flies and bees. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they are, they do sound similar. But look at this. You can hear the frog croak! That's so cute! Ah! Okay, frog umbrella stand. This umbrella stand is used as magical frog powers to bring you all lost umbrellas. Um, okay, I find that hard to believe, but I guess I'll go with anything as long as there's Kirby involved. Oh, uh, well. Uh, let's collect some more of these beads. I mean, they, 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 look more, they look like gushers. I'll do like a zoom in here. Yeah, they, they look like gushers. You ever eat one of those? They're super good, but... Like, come on, they look like gushers. I just want to eat them all. I mean, maybe... I mean, knowing Kirby, he'd probably do that too, but he can't, he can't eat stuff in this one. You know, that's kind of depressing. He, in this form, since he can't copy bullet, he just can't, can't straight up eat anything. So, eh. Oh, well. It's, I mean, won't he die of starvation now? Considering he's made out of yarn, he can't eat anything? That's, you know, I never thought about that before. Yeah, wouldn't he? Wow, okay. Strange. Okay. New perspective on this whole thing. Never thought about it, but... Now we have this little exclamation mark tag, and it'll attach itself to the background, which we can peel off. Yeah. We peel it off, and we get 
The CD, Flower Field. This new music plays Flower Field. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Plant. And finally. Oh, okay. This isn't near the end of the level. Oh! Oh, no, I remember. I know what this level is. This level is really cool. Because of uh, the transformation that's at the end. Yeah. Which we discussed in the last one. Yeah. Okay. And kablam! We have this here. Eh. Okay, up. Oh, rats. Come on. Blam! Murder this one. And now, we get in. By the way, these little swirly thingies that transform you, these are called metamortex. I know, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense, but if we go into this metamortex, which is apparently what it's called. We get into UFO! Yeah, remember UFO from the older ones? Yeah! So we can suck people up, including the beads, or the gushers, whatever. And yeah, so if we suck three things up, then we can just do a screen wipe of everything by pressing one. Which, yeah, you play this game on, with the remote on its side. It kind of sucks that you can't use an original controller, but, yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, three and two, what you gonna do? I don't know. We used to always chant that when we played baseball as kids. It was always charming. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well. So, let's go all the way up here. Oh. Oh, jeez. We actually... Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here sometime soon with the ability to zap things. Because we need it. We really do. Uh, let's avoid collecting that for now. Oh, yes. Bam. Bam. Okay. Now with that thing completely, our, our thing completely charged, let's go all the way up here, and kablamity there! I haven't said that in a while, actually. Huh. I also haven't said Amazing Sauce Tacular as much as I can. Oh, uh, here's here's another time to use one of my catchphrases, uh, flying away, because, yeah, that's a real one, huh. I've, I haven't been using my catchphrases as recently as I should, ah, come on! Ah, oh, man. Eh. Yeah, Gordors are made out of cardboard, so they kill you in one. So they kill you in one hit. Yeah, they're. I think they're the only thing in this game that isn't made out of some sort of cotton material or something like that. Some sort of thing of yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's come on now. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay. Getting some more beads. Ah, or gushers, whatever. I'm confusing beads with gushers. I really shouldn't do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to start eating beads in my life, and it's not going to be pretty. They're probably... I think beads are made out of plastic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but... Ugh! I would not want to eat plastic. Okay, that's that's our life lesson for today, kids. Do not eat plastic. It's not good for your health. Or something, I don't know. Oh, okay. So now, we can just blast open the wall. Go through his UFO Kirby, and... Let's get the five-star one, okay? Get it, get it, get it, please? Yeah! And... Yes! Okay. I was worried there for a second. Whew. Okay, here's another one of my personal favorites. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is... We got we got the, the, the time patch, or I think it's the clock. The clock patch. Yeah, there we go. No, not the cock patch, the clock patch. The alarm clock patch. There we go. Okay. So Oh, this one's this one's really neat. I mean all all of the patches are honestly really neat, but eh, oh well. Eh. Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle, what a definite pickle I am in. And we're gonna help him, because that's just what protagonists do. I am in the most dire of pickle straits. Could I possibly ask for your hill? Thank you ever so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall not go unnoticed. And we go back to... You see, I can't seem to find any tenants who will move into my new building here. There's the market. What is one to do? I think splitting the place up a bit would definitely attract some new tenants. Oh, you think? You think? I don't think new tenants would like an empty room. I mean, unless they're planning on moving in. But other than that, yeah. So, now here's something that makes the furniture a little bit more useful. So, now, instead of just simply... Instead of just simply eh, decorating your room however you want, the treasure chests have 
something a little bit more useful to them. And if you place the furniture in the right way for the person's request, and go blam, then something neat will happen. <coughs> Wonderful job, Lord Kirby. Now we must find someone who loves flowers. And apparently this guy likes flowers, even though I know he wouldn't be the type who would like flowers. Oh, well. You did it, Lord Kirby. Oh, I can tell you how grateful I am for this. So now, a new tender has come into the room, and, yeah, now we can play with friends. As the game progresses, we'll get access to more rooms we can decorate to get with more friends. These all generally replace the, the standard Kirby sub-games that we're all used to by now. So, I'm just gonna do one of them right now, and we'll just do it really quickly. So, this one's just hide-and-seek. Zeke's hide-and-seek. That's an odd name, Zeke. It just... No offense to anybody out there named Zeke who may be watching this, but that's kind of a stupid name. I mean, I know I don't like my name, but I don't know. Oh. Imagine if you were named Zeke. Ugh. Okay. Oh well, let's just find all of them Zeke's. Because apparently, he cloned himself four times somehow in between that time lapse. I, uh, I, assu I assume he did anyway. I don't know, maybe those are his cousins. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These ones are usually really easy to do, but they are kind of a neat distraction from the main game. However, we'll be doing them all, like, just at the end. Instead of doing them every single time we unlock a new stage from them. Otherwise, this would get really long. Eh. Really, really fast. Eh. Oh, no. I, uh, no. Yeah, this. Eh. There we go. Okay. Blam. Okay. Oh, we can... Wow, okay, I did not think that we'd be able to... Okay, so we're just exploring throughout the level. Get that, and blam, we found all of our friends. Quote-unquote friends. Put that put that in quotes for the friends. Heart. Ugh. So we're just going to do, like I said, we're just going to do all these little challenge thing and what's it's that at the very end of the game, all at once. Otherwise, this would drag on for way too long. And I wouldn't really like that very much. Okay. Wait, wait, Prince Fluff, throw up Kirby. I was just looking for the U of 2. I'm actually looking for a small... How many favors do you freaking need to, okay? I would like to add floor to the building, but I don't have enough beads. ba ba da ba da 10,000 beads, apparently. Eh. He, he's just asking us for money now. This guy's... I mean, he's cool. He was like a uh, weird Italian guy, but I don't know. I don't feel safe with him. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, we actually have enough beads. Well, wow. then I got a new bada bada bada. Yeah. So now we can add our new floor to the quilt decor. I should finish this project straight away. And in just no time at all. Look at that! I never thought quilt decor would see a second floor. Wonderful. That means two more available apartments. Since you did such a nice job, perhaps you can help decorate those freaking. Okay, I guess. I mean, I guess Kirby's into it, but I don't know, man. I don't feel great here. And also, they never really tell us this straight away. But well, it seems that my brothers have decided to shut up their sauce here. I next that one other. Uh, hmm, well, I suppose that makes things convenient. Hello there, I am Chase Wool. If you need furniture, come see Lord Chase. I am Loomis Wool. I own a fabric store in Archland. The only one who. Mr. if you need something. I don't know. I'm trying to give them all different Italian accents, but that doesn't really work. There's only I see it seems like there's only one real stereotypical uh, Italian accent, but now you can visit the guy's brothers and they will sell us fabric as well as different furniture. But it does it's not really uh, it's not really very useful most of the time. So instead, we're gonna go back to Grassland and do one more level, because we still have some time here. I think we can do one more level. Oh, well. Oh, yeah! Okay, here's the moment of truth. Yeah, come on, that's so cool! And then it, it makes a sense for this thing to open, because now we can actually do it, because it's like a big hill. Come on, so cute, aww. Man, this game super adorable. I just mm, just this game kills you so with the worst kind of kill. It kills you with adorableness. Oh, mm. 
Ah! Okay. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but this game was, wasn't was developed by Hal, the makers of the, all the other ones. This was actually developed by uh, Goodfield, the same guys who made uh, Yoshi's Wooly World as well as Yoshi's Crafted World that just recently came out. Uh, as well as another one, Wario Land Shake It, and actually not that bad platformer for the Wii. Yeah, it's that that yeah, that game's uh, actually really good. I intend it's or at least most people have said that it's really good. Anyway, I intend on playing it sometime soon. I don't think I'll look for it though. It just seems odd. Blam. Okay. Oh oh man, that was quick. I. Falling in pits in this game is a really bad idea. Really bad idea. It really sucks when you fall down a pit. I won't showcase it until it actually happens, because it's, it's, it's inevitable for it to happen. But, yeah, okay. It really sucks when it happens. It's really annoying. Ah, and bad memories, think about it. Particularly, one level in particular is where it really comes to shine. Uh, also, the music here is pretty cool. I don't know if you can listen to it or not, but I, th I think you probably can. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We need to get that. It's like a little race to the finish. Oh, uh, day at the races. I no, wait. Eh. Oh, come on. Oh, well, now we found out what happens when you fall down pits. And we didn't actually get... Oh, come on. Oh, come... Ah! No. So... Eh. 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 No. Well, okay, I'm pretty peeved, but I think maybe the. Well, I think maybe the roulette will probably save us, to be honest. Blam. Eh. Okay. Eh. 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 Gotta get the new treasure chest. Outdoor bath. I couldn't read the description again. I keep on skipping through those. Eh. Oh, well. Yeah. And no! Okay. Now let's transform into probably the strangest looking one ever. This is the Windsurfer, but it looks more like a penguin astronaut guy. Like it's, it looks like a peng it looks like an awkwardly shaped penguin astronaut on a surfboard. That that's always what I've thought it to be. It's weird. It really is. It's, it's really a strain. I don't know why it looks like that. Sort of penguin-duck hybrid. Wearing a helmet on a surf. What is this game? I mean, I guess maybe... I, I don't know. Yeah. So, I, however, despite how confusing it looks, I actually really like this one. You surf down all these really cool spots. You jump over stuff and you hit it with your surfboard to do a cool double jump. Yeah. And you collect beads. So yeah, I really, I really like this one. There's this really obscure yeah. CD yeah. Eh, to get later on in the stage. But other than that, yeah, I really like this segment. Yeah. Yeah. You got a crystal star! Okay. Okay, jump over here. Oh. Ah, come on. Eh. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh. 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 Okay. Uh. And blam! Rainbow Falls. This new music plays in Rainbow Falls. And good. And so instead, let's just try and get for the three. Yeah. And blam! There we go. That's more like it. Ugh. Phew. Ah, my back. Ah, man. Okay. So now we've gotten the bean patch, as the game will tell us in just a couple seconds there. Whew. That was refreshing. Got some rainbows, a new outdoor bath, the CD. Got the bean patch. There we are. Hey Kirby, you can go into a brain hide and seek stage. Well, suck on you. We're not gonna go over there. Yeah. So here's the entrance to the next level. Yeah, okay, more really cool stuff. This one's Big Bean Vine. Eh. Oh, well, eh. Bam. And, uh, right now I'd actually like to show off something. I sh I told you guys in the 
uh, I told you guys in the last one that I would show off something uh, really important and nice. So, I think we'll go ahead and check that out right now. This one and all is my one is my completed file. Yeah, this is a different file we're doing this one time. You see, we have some new stuff up there, and I'm not gonna spoil it all for you because we I really don't want to spoil it. But anyway, eh, eh. Okay, so I want to show because the Kirby's pad here, I've actually um, uh, designed it specifically how I feel like it. I've always really liked interior decorating to be honest and I, I think I've really put together something great in my other file and there's also some really great music when you ever you go into your pads so without further ado let's go check it out and here this is my room and here we're gonna see Kirby sit down really cute just a second there you go. Yeah, when you press down. So yeah, this is my room. I've always really liked, again, and I've always really liked interior decorating, and I think I've really found a really good. Oh, Kirby goes to sleep if you wait. Oh, that's so. I never noticed that. But yeah, I really think it's just. Oh, so cute and relaxing and. Mmm, Kieran's going to sleep again. Oh man. And with the music playing in the background, this like really nice tinkly lullaby music, it just it it really puts you right there, you know? So I guess we'll just leave it off here. So next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, uh while Kirby's drifting off in Dreamland, we're going to be heading over to Big Bean Bine and possibly one another stage. Maybe even completing Grassland? I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll see you all then. You probably knew that already, so I'll just cut it short here, and I'll see you all after I'm done sleeping. See you all then. Kirby, 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 that's the name you should know. Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show. He's more than you think, he's got maximum pain. Kirby Kirby's the one. He comes right back at ya. He comes right back at ya. Give it all that you got. Take a very best shot. Just in the